Welcome to the Amateur Traveler Podcast Video Edition, Episode 1. In this particular episode, it is a screencast, and I'll be showing you how to use the site kayak.com to save money on travel. Kayak.com is a website that is a consolidator of travel and therefore you can use Kayak to search for travel deals from across a wide variety of websites. So let's look at the Kayak site and to start with we'll look at flights. So right now I'm going to look for a flight from San Jose to let's look for Denver, Colorado. Here we'll go to Denver International Airport and we're going to travel leaving on the 18th of March and we'll come back a week later. Go back here to the 25th of March. It's looking for one traveler and it's looking at economy. And Then if I scroll down here and search multiple sites, what Kayak will do is it will go and start looking at a variety of different websites for what their travel prices are. So here we get the status. It's looking at various sites here and it's starting already to display some of the results. Okay, Kayak says it found 172 results. If not all of them show, you may need to use the Show All button over here. And right now it says, sorted by price, that there are 172 deals. They range in price from as high as $3,457 to as low as $992. So this particular column sorts by price. If we wanted to, we could also sort by airline or by time of departure. So that's all very well and good if you want to save time as you're looking for deals. And if I wanted this particular deal, I would just click here on buy direct at AmericanAirlines.com or AA.com. But what if I know that I want to travel, but I'm not exactly sure when I want to go and I'm just looking for a great fare? There's an interesting feature of Kayak.com, which is the Buzz feature. So if I go up here and I click on Buzz, I'll get over here to this site. And this is the Buzz site. And among the features in the Buzz site, I can go here and I can say from San Francisco, which is SFO, I'm going to look for a particular region of the world. In this case, since the latest edition of the Amateur Traveler podcast was on Belize and Guatemala, I'm going to look for Mexico and Central America. I'm going to look for best fares. I can, if I want here, put in a maximum price. I'm not willing to pay more than $800. And then I'm going to say get best fares. And it'll begin searching. And one of the things it will do is it's going to bring up a map down here. So on the left here is a list of destinations that are sorted from least expensive to most expensive. And then on the right there is a map. It's a Google map and they're using the Google Map API. So if I scroll out here a bit, I can see that it's showing me a variety of lines going from San Francisco, scroll out a little bit more, down here to Central America and to Mexico. The red lines indicate more expensive routes and the green lines indicate less expensive routes. So let's go in here and let's say I'm not willing to pay as much as I thought I did so I'm going to go over and select by the two dollar signs and eliminate some of these routes. And you'll notice over here in the map that a lot of the more expensive routes went away. So one of the things this is telling me is if I want to go to the cheapest place for me to go in Mexico would be Puerto Vallarta, which I can see over here, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. But I can also see that if I wanted to go further away, so let's say I want to go to the Yucatan Peninsula, that particularly there's a rate here to Cancun. So if I click on number two, it says Cancun, there's a rate and it's 300 and $82 on America West. And the travel dates are from March 22nd to March 28th. So if I know that I wanted to go to that particular region of Mexico, now I found myself a fairly cheap flight. Cheaper as it would turn out than to fly to Denver from San Jose, California. So Kayak.com is useful when you're trying to find 
uh, cheap airfares or hotels or rental cars and you're trying to search a variety of sites at the same time so kayak mostly will save you time in your search and it may find a rate at one of the sites or one of the sales that will save you some money again kayak doesn't sell things itself they're a consolidator site allowing you to find deals on other sites so that will wrap up episode one of the video edition of the amateur traveler podcast check out the show notes at amateurtraveler.com and thanks for watching